What's going on guys, Meg Dowen here. Today I want to respond to a video made by GGZ2, I believe the gentleman's name is. And he asks for community feedback on his opinions in the video, and he also uses towards the end, as an example of one of his points, a content creator that's about a tenth of his size. And my view is that he sort of misrepresents that content creator and also misrepresents Bower Mage. And so I want to quickly respond to a couple of timestamps that I have here. And uh, yeah, so let's listen in here. He is talking about the Faded Connections podcast and about Bower Mage's assessment of loot drops. Vast, vast, vast majority of players. And it's like they're speaking on these things like they're actual facts. In this podcast, they go on to say the group that um, they try playing the game and they've ran the numbers and they get 10% the drops that they used to. Now, I don't believe that because how the hell have they gone and got that number 10% and they're spitting it out there as a fact? Um, well, I will tell you. Here is the video in question. And I've got the timestamp here. It's actually really early in the video. So surprising that uh, you missed this part. All right. Good. And so my just my experience and my feelings on the things without any data was that at best, at best, I was dropping 10% of what I used to, and then I suspected it was less. I was expecting less than 10%. And so we thought, okay, it's time to figure out if I'm wrong, if I'm just being sour about this. I hope I'm just wrong because they've got the numbers. They've got the data. I don't have the data. So... Let's see if I'm wrong. So I opened a spreadsheet. We worked on all of the previous league mechanics. We worked out all the multipliers for party quant, player quant, all of those sort of things. We put them into a spreadsheet and we realized that if you do literally nothing and you out can go your map, you might even be, it, you, you might even be equal. If you run white unalk maps with no Atlas passives, you're actually getting more than you were before. And if you do anything more than about 20% of investment, you're losing huge and it continues to get worse and worse and worse and worse and then i got all the numbers um there's a few caveats at the beginning of the videos if people need to don't just click the spreadsheet to watch a little bit of the video at least the first little section where i explain all the caveats because there are some things that we don't know but we have to assume with a pretty wide variety of very experienced people's knowledge that gives us a very good estimate of like ranges, right? Like we know some league mechanics were between seven and 9,000 ish in this range, but we don't have the number, which is- Now you guys tell me, does that sound like somebody that's just pulling numbers out of their ass and just being glib and having no method and just misrepresenting? I mean, in fact, he says, in that clip that if you're just out and go or running white maps you're probably making the same or maybe even a little bit more so at the very beginning of this guy's video he says that his problem is that people are not representing the larger player base and that they're hyper fixating on very eclectic parts of the game that nobody cares about but i mean here when he's talking about his data he's pointing out that for the average player the drops might even be a little bit better than they were before and then he goes into a long uh, discussion of the caveats and, and the, the way that the data that he has is imperfect. And he's uh, very explicit about not having access to the same level of data that GGG would have access to. I can't think of a more fair way that he could have approached doing this. He did it all on stream. He made his own video on his channel where he goes over this in great detail. And you just hand wave it away and misrepresent it like like Bower Mage was just on here just just being a clown and that's just not what happened but I could go ahead and and debunk that and say oh well actually I feel like I'm probably getting 65 percent like we can all throw but no you can't because you don't have any of the stuff done you didn't do the work you didn't make the spreadsheet you didn't pull from many different people that have lots of experience you didn't do any of those things and he did and so he's sharing his results so why is it why can't he share those results 
He's doing it in a fair, honest, and transparent way. And you're trying to make it sound like th this is just some some idiot out there, just purely based on his feeling, just making shit up and selling it to the community. And that's just, that's not what happened here. And this is a trend throughout the video. He, he makes points that I think are, if you take away the the context of that he's got people's other people's videos on stream and that he's singling out people he's kind of making decent points or at least points that i can understand but the examples that he's using serve to detract from his points so now i want to draw us towards the end of the video and we're going to watch a little bit more running around doing some fancy magic find technique and that's why he loves it and the gameplay is so different it's the exact same style of gameplay that everyone else is doing they just get more drops and they're getting a bit upset that there's not talking about magic drops. find here so i don't need to go on about this forever there's there's plenty of stuff we can talk about and all of this stuff but when you you know when you go to youtube and you and you have a look at path of exile and you see all this stuff about everybody saying that it's the worst game ever and all of this shit it's like come on man you know this guy so just on this screen you've got a video about them fixing an exploit face, like me trying to say like uh you know Chris new secret meta for farming community drama and then just some random you know, clip we've got people doing it then you've got juicy mapper shield charge ignite then you've got Sir Gog with where the loot is, and then the next one down, Summon Raging Spirits, uh, End Game Build Guide. All of this stuff all the time that... What's the problem here? Blizzard Veteran plays Path of Exile for the first this time. This you... this seems like a really wide, uh, really wide breadth of content here. There's a lot of different stuff being discussed, and most of these videos aren't even particularly negative. I have to play the game. What, you're mad about like the 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 first you know the first four videos on the list or the one or two that you picked out that that you don't like the content or you didn't like the titling you have to pull somebody into magic find cull and get 30 divines yes that is a that is a possibility and here's another video even just like shitting on the the community for i mean basically kind of doing the same thing that I, that he's doing here shitting on the uh content creator community let's see you can do that then you've got how to set up a Lake of Calandra, how to use Melding of the Flesh. You don't have to do that. The idea that the game has been completely ruined is... But who is saying that? None of these videos have said that. How I made a bunch of money week one, more more about the Path of Math thing, which I mean, obviously people are going to talk about that some. Seven uh, builds in Lake of Calandra League, top seven. It's ridiculous. Like, I I'm not picking on this guy. So, I mean, again, like you're, you... You offer the idea that all the content that you're seeing is the same, and then you literally, in your video, show a list of, of all the content when you search for Path of Exile. And I just read the titles, and they don't. They're not all saying the same thing. They're, there's a, a wide variance in the type of things that people are covering. So, I mean, it's just, you're just wrong. Um, well, anyone in the video and then why are you picking on poor Jaywar? Video because he actually i think he responded to one of my comments but like, so what you, you already trolled him in his comments and now you're 10 times the size and so you you have to what you got to roll in and laugh at him for no reason for example this video people get sucked in with videos like what this are they getting they sucked say, into how i made 100 divines in the first week this isn't some special tactic you know you know what he did in week one he has a full super meta build and he has a fully completed atlas so he played the game a lot and he had a strategy and he executed it he's not he there, this doesn't say how i made 100 divines week one super secret ultimate magic strategy that nobody knows about that only i can do because i'm super elite that's not what the fucking title is this is just a guy blasting sharing his results with the community and he's positive I, in fact, when I'm in the, this guy's stream, I'm the one that's dooming, and he's often being like, uh, you know, you might be going a little bit far. Uh, you know, there's problems in the game, but, like, I'm still trying to have fun. I'm still blasting, trying to make, make currency, whatever. I think, he, you know, he farmed up a, a mirror uh, early league. Like, you, you can still get the stuff done, and he's trying to illustrate here that 
if you have a good strategy and you go in and you stay optimistic, stay positive, you can make big gains in the game. And no, maybe you're not going to be able to make, you know, exactly the same amount of currency that he made. But if you use the strategy that he's illustrating here that anybody can do, you can make some percentage of those gains. And if you do it correctly and you're diligent, even on a small amount of time, uh, you know, gameplay per day, you can make a, a fraction of, of that profit and have a, a lot of fun because it's possible that even a fractional return on the strategy that he's laying out here for the average player, that might be a lot more currency than they have been able to get in previous leagues or, when, or if they've tried the game before, so on and so forth. I think this is a, a really positive, good type of video for the community. Yes. And he's been sat farming fully completed juiced up maps with Atlas, with League Mechanics, with everything. And he's got a load of money. Like, yes, if you're farming tier 16s for like nine hours a day for a week straight when people like me are in a tier 5 map and just chilling with golems, like having a chat in Discord, yeah, you're going to make 100 divines. And I understand this This guy isn't saying it to be like a, a flexer. He's just basically explaining what he did. But you spent the whole video talking about how people are just e-flexing, and this is, the, this is the example that you chose. You've got his channel on screen, his face is on screen, it, what are you playing the I'm not touching you game like as long as you don't say his name out loud it doesn't count as you like calling him out like no you're you're trying to use this guy as an example of the problem that you're trying to illustrate with content creator and you're falling on your face here because what Jaywar is doing is good he's showing strategies that people can employ to make money in the game which is what a lot of people want I don't know what you're talking about with this I want to hang out with my fucking golems in a tier five map and talk to people on discord. Are, are we playing the same fucking video game here, dude? Uh, I don't know anybody that wants to play that way. Anybody that I know that has gotten into the game, casuals, people, you know, people that I know in real life, guys that I try and get into the game, uh, they want to blast. They see people blasting and they want to blast too. And the purpose of videos like what Jaywar made here and a lot of the videos that I make on my channel are to illustrate that you don't need 100% of what the big boys are doing to enjoy the game. It's like any other power system. They're actually spending a lot of their time to get over the that last hump from the 70 to 80% income to, you know, the 100% of, of, you know, fully realizing their strategy. You can run these strategies at 20% efficiency and with far less time and still make a shitload of currency and have a great time in the game. And then you can come and join a stream and fucking pog out when you drop cool shit. Have a good time. People don't want to sit by themselves in a fucking white map with golems. Who who is who is saying that to you? Who is telling? Are these people in your comments or something being like, bro, more tier five golem content, please? I, I, you know. And if he had made these points again without trying to drag somebody under the bus and then doing like the backhanded like, eh, but you know, he's just, you know, he's fine, but, and then you say a bunch of bad shit and you leave him up on screen. I don't know, man. I just think it's, uh, I think it's a bad look for you. Um, it's one thing, I guess, if you want to shit on creators that are bigger than you, but I don't know this seems like some really petty punching down shit that isn't really good for the community. And just like from an ethical perspective, like you, you couldn't find anybody that, that actually you know was an illustration of the points that you were making so what you just picked a just a random soul at uh, uh at your whim and yeah very very troubling and that's okay but people get sucked into this notion that there's like some magic combination and that you have to do certain things and then they'll complain the game's not fun like look at this essence tab all right so let's recap here i've had enough uh so he says Bauer Mage pulled numbers out of his ass, just made it up, and that he could do the same thing uh, at a moment's notice. Then I played you a clip where Bauer Mage explains himself, and to me, it seems like a pretty much one-to-one, -one, dude. Like, the thing you're saying just wasn't true. Bauer Mage said exactly the stuff that you were basically saying he didn't say. And then later on in the video, you're talking about uh, magic strategies and all this other shit. And negativity and then your example is a guy that is almost never negative and is not doing any of the stuff that you're saying he's just illustrating the strategy that he used to make currency he's generally being positive at the game there's there's no hate here he's not saying you have to play this way 
He's not implying that it's the only way to play the game. He didn't. He's not doing any of the shit that, that you're saying. And so that's, for me, that's twice in one video. You're just misrepresenting people and not putting in the due diligence to actually formulate your opinions. You're just, you're just fucking, you're just feeling out, bro. You're just in your feelings and uh, do better.